Hey guys, and welcome to the video, and I hope that you are feeling awesome. All right guys, on today's adventure, we are heading towards a tower called the Pie Green Tower. And I've got to confess, this tower is absolutely amazing to see. It is that tall, guys, that you can actually see the top of the tower from Rusley and many areas. The BT Tower stands in Pie Green near Hensford and it's commonly called Pie Green Tower. Pie Green Tower is one of 14 telecommunication towers in the UK that were made of reinforced concrete. It was constructed as part of the British Cold War Backbone radio communication network. The term backbone was used by the General Post Office, that's BT's predecessor, to describe a chain of microwave links designed to provide provide resilient communication in the event of a nuclear war. This is a map of the 1956 Backbone map. The Pie Green Tower is shown on the map as a baseband connection point for telephony and with links to Shrewsbury, Sutton Common and Colville. The fourth link to Birmingham is showed for television. The network was originally designed as a chain of stations between the southeast of England and Scotland. All links were to be on a 6 gigahertz bandwidth. However, a contract in December 1960 64 transferred the backbone section between Stockham Church and Sutton Cotton to 2 gigahertz and other contracts provided additional channels between Birmingham and Manchester on 4 gigahertz and 6 gigahertz bands. However, with the introduction of fiber optic network technology, it had rendered these microwave towers largely obsolete for their original purpose. However, the Pie Green Tower is still in use today and it currently transmits local radio and also DAB signals as well. So today, I'm gonna to be taking you guys to see the Pie Green Tower and have a look around. All right, guys, I'm just trying to figure out a way to get to it and uh, being honest, I think this is the best route here. So let's go and see what we can get to. Let's carry on through this area here. Duck under all these low-lying branches here. Ooh. And then uh, I'm hoping that just over here we're going to see the uh, tower. Because, wow, that is huge. Wow, guys, just have a look at that. Okay, this must be the grounds of it then. Right, I want to have a look what's found here. To think that many years ago, guys, this was like really, really heavily in use. And to tell you some information, the top of this tower here never used to look like this. This is what it used to look like back in the day. So you can clearly see there's definitely a difference nowadays. Being honest, I'm looking at this land now and I'm thinking, was there more to this land years ago? Because obviously they've got the tower there, you've got your, I think your generator station over that direction. But look at all of this space. Many years ago, was there something here? All the land is like all like this, all the way throughout this area. So like I said, was there um, anything built on this area? And that there, guys, that I think that's got to do with something to do with power or something. That does look to be something to do with electrical there, guys. Oh, okay, this is interesting. This uh, gate here says that uh, no authorised person allowed past this point. However, it's only to you really look. And it looks like this whole area here has got another sort of fence going around it. I don't know what this building is, right? It's got to be something. Okay, I don't know what that building there is, guys. But it's got to be something really connected to the tower, how close it is. Okay. Oh, wow, okay. Finally, we found the uh, entrance to it. Wow, 
Well guys, I really have enjoyed today's adventure and to be truthfully honest, it's amazing the size that this build is. I looked on the map and it looks so tiny in it, but you only two when you get here, you're like, wow, it's just so much more bigger. But anyways, unfortunately, it's where I'm gonna have to love and leave you for this adventure. So I wanna say a huge thank you to every single one of you for coming by. It means the world to me. And always do your best to stay positive and screw all this negatives and I'll see you on the next one. All right, bye, easy, bye.